First I'll wrap some adhesive tape around the screwdriver to prevent the black color from the screws to come off. This is the first time I opened the speakers and you can see it's a 035 TIA model and the difference to TI model is that it uses uh, copper clad aluminum wire instead of uh, copper and there is also difference in the terminal position. The base reflex tube is made of thin plastic and I decided to dampen it using STP sheets. It's a kind of asphalt material originally used for cars and uh, I cut two pieces and glue them on the sides of the tube. And you can hear it's almost dead now, a lot better than before. There is some oxidation on the l pads, so just clean it with a brush and spray some deoxid inside, but these are of better quality than the older model of 4.3 uh, series. Here is a short preview of what's inside the enclosure. You can see the crossover only uses smaller capacitors, so no need to replace them. The MDF is 18 millimeters thick. I didn't have a hex key of the right size to disassemble the tweeter, so I made my own using a grinder. It most probably won't loosen just by removing the screws, so you have to do it by hand very gently. Just use a little force and turn it around and you will hear cracks. Be careful not to bend the voice call former. You can see the foam is not more flexible after the years, it's rotten. Remove it gently with some plastic tool and avoid getting it into the magnetic gap.
Before we throw the old foam away, save the little cylinder that was in the middle. We will use it later. Clean the pole piece. I used acetone. To make sure nothing is left in the magnetic gap, I used the sticky tape to clean it. The height of the new foam should be 1 cm. Use a circular gingerbread cutter and push it hard through the foam on a solid surface. Turn it a few times. It might not be a perfect cylinder but it's okay for this use. Sometimes there is a leftover of the old foam on the backside of the dome. Clean it with a tissue or a soft cloth. I use a double sided tape to stick the foam. Be careful to stick it exactly in the center. Check the screw holes to get the voice coil into the gap smoothly. I centered it later using the software to see the impedance. The original rubber band that holds the grill often gets brittle after the years. I use a new rubber band of the same diameter. When you have it in the place, cut the excess end off. I gently mark it with a knife. You can glue both ends together, but if you cut it to the right size, the point where they meet is almost no visible. Mount all the components back and you are done. Now I'll do the same with the other box, but if you want you can skip to the measurements. The grill was bent on this one, so I helped it with my fingers. This one was a little harder to disassemble, so I used the plastic tool.
Glue the small cylinder into the middle and then the larger soft foam cylinder onto it. To get this almost perfect matching impedance, you have to use the software to center it.